Hello everybody and welcome to The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I know nothing about this, I saw it on Steam. I hit download, here we are, that's all I know. There's like a train motif or something. Let's place the new game, let's see what's going on. Phew, I made it on a train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far so good for my first day on the job. I. Would love it if this was some obscure character that everyone's like, is, this is obviously... I don't even know. The whatever animal. Oh, I totally forgot. My name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. Is this where I get to pick the name? Hello, my name is... Hmm, what should I go with? What is? What do they look like? Oh, I got it. My name is The Murderer. Er. The Murderer. Er. Er. No. The murderer. That's my name. I am the murderer. That's my name. I don't think I could show my face around here again if I wrote that. Uh, I'm I'm a little surprised, but also, what if there's no space? Man, I wonder if I could do some weird characters. Hold on. We'll do that again. The murderer. Er. The murderer. I'm wondering if there's a different character. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's my name, the murderer. Did I spell that right? Well, I guess with the umlaut, it'd be the murderer. Mu, mu. Anyway, I hope passengers can read my scribble. Yes, read it well, passengers. Oh, what a fancy train car. I think it's a train. A dining car. Well, he just said train. Of course it is. Uh oh, am I nervous? <laughs> Is this the first J on the job, Jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, the murderer, shake it off. I'm gonna shake all these murders out of me. Right into Sonic. Whoa! I got slapped by the conductor. The murderer, did I just uh, see you hitting yourself? I guess I hit myself. But don't do that. M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, quite all right myself, though feeling a bit bittersweet. Is everything all right? Is it because you're a sweetie? Uh, trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. How old does this whatever animal live? Time for the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one. For me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Happy and safe retirement to you, sir. Thank you. My wife is excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today is your first day working on the dining car. Working the dining car. Trying to reposition in my seat. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory any time to receive the th to view the th items I received. Blah, blah blah blah. I should look them over in the menu carefully. I should click on this button right now. The menu, the Mirage Express's dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Must be foreign because chili dog isn't native to wherever this region may be. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. I guess that checks out. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve at the dining car? <gasps> do we serve? Sp spicy grilled picky. I don't know what that is. Crab Rangoon. Absolutely. Ding ding ding. Glad you could read the menu okay. Yeah, I, I passed your little test. A little about the vessel. This is a state of the art high speed smart train. Ooh, smart train. Hey, train, turn on the lights. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, with all the latest gadgets, this train can really handle anything you throw at it. Can it literally handle me throwing something at it? We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for getting wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I, I couldn't tell. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? 
A murder mystery party. Oh, it's only a murder mystery party. And here I am, an actual murderer. Anyway, nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Guess we'll be funneled here to, to the, 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 the... Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. He's the murderer. So, I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Yes. Wink. I understand. I can't afford to lose this job! Murdering's all I can do! It's in the name! You sure can't. The severance pay is lousy. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! It opened! They're getting on! Look, it's mysterious character number one, two, and three! <gasps> the first one's Amy. Wow, this is incredible! What fascinating tech! You could do better, Tails. I forget what he sounds like. You're right, Tails. I could get used to staying, staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know, I always get out of... Go out all out for my birthday party. Like, trying to focus on what I'm going to say, like... This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't com can't bleh. can't promise I won't take anything though. Uh, all of these voices are going to be absolute hell for me. Come down the rouge. Did did I just not catch you stealing? Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny teeny tiny pen? The gift shop. It's it's the gift shop. Get all of yourself, the murderer. <laughs> You ruined the surprise, sir. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Uh, fresh out of the microwave. You're on it. Uh, 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 of course, sir. Are you a pirate? Uh, do you want me to be? Oh, no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, the murderer, won't you? Just click on who you'd like to talk to and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay, got it. Whoa, what a cool outline effect. I want to talk to the robot arm. Is it... Yeah, I... Oh. Train, be sure the murderer only gets one of these if they ask. I want to talk to the arm. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, train, the conductor wants me to have a whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together for a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Dra Those snacks look really tasty, too. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Is that, is that all I can look on? That's not them? Seems like it. Uh, Knuckles is kind of off screen a little bit. I think my settings are right, but anyway. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? Real nice, real nice knuckles. I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Uh, we'll just go left to right. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Wow, looks normal. Right here, sir. Thank you, may I offer you any snacks we have on board? No, thank you, why? travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. Tails, that would kill me. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt in any can melt any jaded heart. Gelatin? But it's a jelly? Anyway. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. I guess the murderer wants to murder me. I'm allergic. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. A, a little. Just a little. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely, if you need anything, just let us know. He needs more gelatin. More gelatin. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. I wouldn't say normal, but I would say close enough. Look, at Sonic. Wow, his ticket's also normal. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Huh? I don't know who that is. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer mo much other than my sincere gratitude. And chili dogs, you can offer him chili dogs. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you came. Bleh. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Definitely can't read. 
Wait a second. Is he? Is he the Sonic? The, Sonic the Hedgehog? What? No way. There's only like one of them. I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yeah, have fun now. We'll do thanks. We got SBO. Uh, can we see your ticket? Of course. Oh, I'm surprised it's not invisible. Excellent, thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. You consider me calming? Did I say that out loud? He's looking right at me. Blushes intently. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Oh, so you read my mind. W wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a, a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on the walls? He's he's a chameleon. Cling on the walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. <gasps> he can! The conductor looks a little too smug at that answer. That's gonna come in handy later. Hey, Vector, you're up. Hello, my friend. Can I see your ticket? Oh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a little bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't worry, we'll take a look around to see if it turns up. That would be amazing. Thanks a million. It seems as though I should look around for the ticket eventually. Amy's next. <laughs> Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hee <laughs> hee. Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train sounds exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? Yeah, a girl who loves a good true... <laughs> loves a good true crime podcast. Good true crime. All the hard consonants. Maybe we should ha leave her to have her fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, look. Oh, have fun. Thank you. <laughs> Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. She can get into the electrical panels now. She's now a hazard. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. I'll use this wisely. Thank you. Shadow, you're up. Here. <clears throat> Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there something we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, we have plastic grocery bags in the back if I get for that for you. Ah, uh, it's there. So cold. The murderer, you're sh shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? I didn't bring one, sir. I forget your name. May we have your ticket, please? Thanks. Very much on top of it, I see. Blaze, yes. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Pr princess? Did you just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. <laughs> Nothing fancy, tr I'm sure. A separate what? <laughs> I'm just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. Isn't that like breaking reality? I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world much more than my own. So I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho oh, ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. W why can I not win with this group? And then we got Rouge. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. She stole my wallet. Oh, she's... <laughs> I saw you sneak a $20 bill out of my wallet. Oh, gonna have to ask you... Ask kindly for that back. Kindly ask for that back. Are you gonna make it awkward? Am I gonna have to get it myself? Oh, this was yours. Supposed to slip down. Hey, here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. All right, that's everyone. Uh, well, he didn't have his ticket. Uh, what's this? Oh, I could slightly look to the left. Oh, there's a ticket. Ah, what's ticket out of the napkin holder? Wow, it's another crumpled ticket. Wasn't someone looking for this ticket? Be sure to return it to the rightful owner. Let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket added. How do we use it? We might just found what you need. The murderer. Why don't you show our friend here what you picked up? I, I picked up the menu. This one. 
Ah, there it is, my ticket. Thanks so much, you both. I was really worried you kicked me out. I missed the murder mystery. Well, I'm worried about where Charmy B is, so wait. Has he got red on him? He's already covered in blood. He's already murdered some snacks. Oh, oh the murderer here wanted to have their hands full kicking you out. Would have their hands full kicking you out. Look, my name, the murderer, is just a stigmatism I'm born with. You're right. I want to leave without a fight. <laughs> Wait, who made them both microwave expert and security guard? Who made me both microwave expert and security guard? Sorry. You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the mis murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I've got some murdering to do. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll handle everything now that I'm gone on your first day by yourself in a dark car full of murder? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, uh, you can count on me. <laughs> to be honest, this group seems plenty, plenty capable on their own. I mean, we literally have a living legend. Living legend. Uh, his name is Shadow. Really reliable guy, that arm right there. Assist the murderer if they need any help, won't you? <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train, I, I suppose. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with that. A real blood? It'll make it look like as if it wasn't there. For everything else, please talk to the murderer here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read the lore cards as well. Lore cards? They must be the details of their motivations. What is my motivation? Wait a minute. I suppose it makes sense their lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would have no the murderer's intentions. Now onto the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules! Sonic, you are the ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go! Tails, you're the detective. You'll be in the dining car. I indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. Uh, we'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're the business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Uh, hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and SPO, the poet, both found in the library. Why is the butcher in the library? Hear that, SPO? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. <laughs> and last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, thank you. Ah, I was listening in. I hope that's okay. More than all right, you can help assure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, uh, it cut off. It's gonna happen. The murder. Aw, oh, it's just a map. I have a map for each of you. I'm so glad that this map updates in real time where they are. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. Map added to inventory. The rules of the game as follows. There's a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but they must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence through the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers and figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and they, the murderer can do the thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations! Ah, uh, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right in, under our very noses. Uh, that was kind of scary. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same. Uh, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. Oh, is that how it's set up? So, we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping out the place. 
This way, there's always a neutral party. I guess that makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. It is her birthday. What do you think everyone's doing? I don't know, probably murdering. Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. <laughs> and murdering. Don't forget murdering. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. So who wrote them? My backstory is that I was best friends with a uh, Flicky that decided to join the do evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. So you're a detective because of that. Okay. My lore is that I'm just a nosy person turned journalist. So it's you, but a journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. I don't remember ordering an ominous cue. The train started moving. It's so fast, grab onto something. What's going on? I'm slipping, hold on. I can't, ah, no. It literally hit something. Whoa, oh, we got like thrown through a door. How do we get out? Oh, we're with them. You're both awake. Oh, you've been awake? I think you're the murderer. You, you threw us against the wall. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? Wow, how exhilarating. <laughs> Let's pretend this is normal. I know the protection on this train is astounding. <laughs> it's definitely more intense than I expected. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day. I'm not really sure. Mom, my microwave! I'm back on duty. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. And we should check on the others. The murderer? Could you get that door? I'm gonna murder the door so good. Yeah, I think the door's blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Uh, what? Uh -huh. Well, let's find another way out. Uh, I'll start looking for cues, clues. You didn't bring the hammer. I'll search over here. Uh, I know Amy, she's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. She used my microwave without me knowing. It was my duty. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives had sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. So this is the interrogation practice where we have to figure out that she just doesn't have the hammer and that's the only thing missing. Check out everything you can around the closet, then I'll show and then we'll show Amy to uncover its full situation. So we gotta gather evidence. Yep, that's what they said. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our playing, paying guests, I wanna keep saying playing, our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood! You can count on me, Tails. You can count as many as your Tails. One, two, there's, there's me. I won't turn evil like your ex Flicky. Happy to hear it, let's get searching. Or we got, uh, she has a spoon. She's trying to bend it with her mind. Uh, garbage can, what we got? Something's always hidden in the trash, let's check there. It's empty. On the bright side, it's very clean trash bin. How do I, be, how do I become as optimistic as this kid? I mean, isn't it like full of paper at least? Anyway, a box is on the ground. She ate all the food, we're gonna starve. Uh, do you think, what do you think Tails? Do you want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. Normally, I never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Being on a train is rough. Uh, I guess there's the shelf itself. It has a whack in it, I guess. The shelf's blocking your exit. It's certainly not budging. Hey, the murderer, look closely at this. Yeah, I just pointed that out. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. Uh, did she already try? There's nothing the shelf could have fallen onto. I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. Crack on the shelf is added to inventory. A wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped and some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. That's how I became a fucking billionaire. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. <sighs> Sonic... You, you did the number one friend thing you shouldn't do. You made it so that your friend lost out on millions of dollars in lawsuits and litigation. But I guess you did the right thing. It's totally fine. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. 
but he was going so fast he also slipped on the juice. He's stealing your lawsuit. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. You're giving him the lawsuit. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's that? Is that the hammer? What is this, a rod? Oh, it's a broken hammer. The tip is broken. Looks like it had a bridge. No, no, no. It looks like it. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so I'll keep it. Stick. I think we found enough clues. Let's interrogate Amy and find out what actually happened. So, Amy wake up before us, ate all of the microwave stuff, slipped on the wet floor sign, hit the hammer on there, and, uh, she ate the hammer. Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we have two more, we can dig ourselves out. And dig ourselves out. On a train? Ah! I'll keep looking. Talk. Find any clues yet? Oh, it's the same thing. Never mind. Okay, interrogation, let's go. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What, you accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? Objection, uh, th that doesn't matter. This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck here just like the two of you. What in the w world do uh, you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I. What could she have been doing in that time? She microwaved the chili dog. She attempted to escape. She murdered a suspect. She attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly with the, while the murderer and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Ugh. Show me the evidence I used that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. So I have to prove what you were doing and that's your only excuse? Ugh. Do we have evidence to prove that? The murderer, let me help step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from the inventory. Once that has been deduced we must form it our arrangement argument we must form our argument to fight back all right let's do it what proves amy attempted to escape the dining car closet the broken shelf w what does some damage on shelf have to prove something it fell over damage makes sense you have the argument here you're grasping objection take that oof uh, okay tails uh what now now we fall follow this train of thought how does a crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Now I have to explain myself. Uh, will you see, uh, uh, when I get some, I like to think, what would Sonic do? A Sonic would microwave a chili dog. Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad dicks. Uh, he never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow that train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Amy, you're stupid. Oh, shit. Uh, WASD in space, okay. Oh, and the arrow keys too. I just put my hands over the arrow keys. Let's go. Rings, rings, rings. Oh, Sonic's going so fast. So much speed. This is like legitimately Danganronpa 2 when they're surfboarding in their mind. 31 out of 20, I, th I think we formed a thought. We have 31 brain cells and they're all competing for 32nd place. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall onto. Except me and my thick murderer skull. You're telling me this train is well kept, the damage was there before we arrived? You're telling me on a train that's this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Uh, well, I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall onto. What was the shelf hit with then? This stick. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick would do this kind of damage? Think, we gotta think again. We gotta, we gotta murder his dream gear. It's going a little faster this time. Oh, I lost some of my thought. We still had enough thought left over. Uh, you're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, like, let's say, a hammer? Ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. Eh. You attempted to hit the shelf on the way out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, uh. Fine, I admit it. It's as you both said. I tried to get out with my hammer, but it failed. 
I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and dabble in as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow juice there, and I've just attached a ton of duct tape. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered into a billion pieces and was never seen again. We did it, we're free. Great job, Amy, let's get out of here. Let's go find a murder. Oh my gosh, everything's dead. Except for that plant that didn't move. Wait, is that? <gasps> it can't be. He spilled his tomato juice. Sonic! Someone murdered by Dirty Sonic. Looks like the cave begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. This, uh, that was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Uh. He needs a chili dog. Eh. Body numb, can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic! Is he actually hurt? Oh, he's not moving? Are the wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't, I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world's going on? I suck at first aid! Is this part of the mystery murder or is this serious? Sonic, Sonic! Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down the murderer. What do I do? Bust out the chili dog smelling salts. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I'm gaslighting myself in my mind. These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. When did he say that? So I leave this, <laughs> I leave their care to you, the murderer, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> I love gaslighting myself. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails to get to the bottom of this. Even if it's a part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Uh-oh. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Title card. It's the saloon car. But... Cool. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna co come back to this in the next episode. I have no idea how long this is, but so far, uh, interesting. Very interesting, especially for a Sonic game. But I hope you guys are liking this. I will learn how to read. Don't worry about that. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye.